hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel and today i will give all of you a brief idea about cohort study so cohort study is a clinical study is a clinical study in this study there is a, a group who, who a group of people who have common features such as they have taken a particular drug and uh, other group who has not taken the drug is compared so cohort study is of two types and in this study there is uh, no interventions have been made they, these are of two types one is uh, prospective cohort study prospective cohort study and another one is retrospective cohort study Prescription is event monitoring is an example of core study. Prescription event monitoring. So, in case of uh, prospective core study, the outcome is not known. A group of individual is given a particular drug and then uh, they are followed up for the outcome uh, or and the adverse effects and another group is not given or exposed to the drug and uh, the data of uh, these two groups compared uh, time to time and uh, compared time to time and cohort studies uh, are uh, done for uh, those ad adverse effects which uh, events which uh, may be missing during the formal uh, testing of the drug and one more thing is that uh, in cohort studies, a small group of uh, people are uh, involved and uh, those who may have may uh, show adverse effects for that particular drug may be included, may, be, uh, may not be included. And uh, in case of retrospective cohort study, there is uh, already the data is there and from, from a, and it is collected data is there. Uh, and it is collected from a particular book of uh, records where the patients who have exposed to the some drugs or medications and uh, the outcomes or adverse effects have been noted. So, in case of prospective cohort study, the limitation is that uh, it is time consuming. It is time consuming and it takes... Uh, almost uh, it may take uh, 10 days may take one year or uh, may take decades and sometimes the patients also drop and which le leads to and which leads to faulty results and uh, sometimes uh, it cannot be completed and sometimes it cannot be completed so these are the limitation of prospective core study and uh, there is also a so small uh, group of people who, who are uh, involved and the controls taken uh, in the study may not be appropriate also. In retrospective core study, the limitation is that the data is collected from a already recorded book. So, record book. So, the in the record book, the data may, may not have been put uh, for the, the retrospective core study. So, this may lead to biases and many factors which may not be included in that book and other thing is that many findings uh, may also contribute to that data so these are this is a limitation of retrospective core study and uh, the benefit of core study is that it may lead to suspicion uh, which leads to more extensive research of a particular drug or disease. So, in case of uh, patient, in case of uh, disease such as uh, smokers may have both lung cancer and emphysema. So, this can be for in these cases the core study is useful to. indicate an outcome to indicate an outcome or uh, event 
so this is all about pool study and uh, here i am ending my today's discussion see you with a new video and guys if you like my videos please subscribe my channel thanks for watching